Hello guys, welcome to practice test training and in this session we will learn more about practice test advanced settings. So in order to go to settings just click on this drop down here and click on fields. So this tutorial will be more around customizing the field section of practice test. So once you go to the fields you will see the system fields as well as the custom fields. So system fields are the default list of fields available which you can customize where you want to show in the particular field um, but you can't delete it because they, these are you know, like the system fields so you cannot delete those fields because you can just enable or disable those. So in order to enable or disable the system fields you can just click on this edit icon and you can check or uncheck the entity where you want to see this particular field. So for example, at the moment, the assigned to field is visible on issue, um, test and requirement. If you want to see the this field under um, test set and instance, you can just check these two check boxes as well. If you don't want to see uh, this field anywhere, then just uncheck all the checkboxes and click on save. So at the moment let's see I want to see this field under issue and that's it and click on save so it will this assigned to field will only be shown uh, under the issue type. Uh, so if you go to issues, new issue and then assigned to is shown here. I, if I go to requirement, new requirement, you won't see that assigned to field is available here. All right. So, but for requirement or for issues or any test, I think assigned to field is mandatory for for most of the these um, entities. So we'll go again and edit assigned to field and then enable it for the test as well as requirement. So now you will see assigned to field visible for requirements as well as test. Now you can have the requirement and that requirement could be assigned to whosoever is in the team. Similarly in the test library, if you go to new test, you'll see that assigned to field now. Okay, so that's, that's about the um, customizing the system field. Uh, similarly, there are n number of other system fields that you can, based on your project requirement, you can enable or disable uh, or you know like display it in a particular issue type or requirement type or you can disable that. Right. Um, the next section is around the custom fields wherein you can create uh, altogether a new field for uh, to be visible either in requirements or um, test cases uh, or even in the issues wherein you know like the defect if you want to see a particular new field type then you can um, uh, add a custom field and uh, choose the file format so for example if you go to the requirements um, and in an agile project you would uh, also assign the story points for a particular requirement so you, you need to have that story points field available in the requirements. So let's go to settings again and add that story point field. All right, so at the moment there is no story point field. What I'll do is I'll click on create new custom field and I'll put the name as story points and then file format will be the number. All right because I'll be putting the story points in uh, numbers. And where do I want to see the story points? It will be mostly under the requirement. All right. So, and click on save. So that particular field just got created. So if you go here under the custom fields, you'll see the story points and field format is number and it will be linked to the requirement and this was created in 5th of Feb and modified 5th of Feb. 
so now let's go and edit it again and see some other fields are available here all right so if you check mandatory then that becomes a mandatory field for every requirement so if you if you don't want anyone to save the um, the requirement without estimating it then you can make that field as mandatory uh, and then if you want to have a default value to any requirement that's being created and you want to assign any default value just put that default value and check that box and put the default value all right so now if you go to the requirement new requirement you will see the story points it's a mandatory that red um, uh, mark here the star shows that it's a mandatory field and by default uh, because we have said you know like one as the default story point so one was listed there as a default story point so whenever somebody is writing the story now he will make sure that the story points are assigned to that particular requirement All right so that's how you add or remove the the custom fields from the from the different issue types so if you go to fields again you can delete the custom fields as well for deleting any custom field just click on this small delete icon against that field and it will delete that uh, that particular custom field now the next thing is so for example you want to remove some of the custom some of the fields from here so for example i don't want to see the tag comma separated i could go in the fields and then edit if this is the system field i will just directly go to the tags comma separated and i'll uncheck it in the requirement and i won't see that anymore that field anymore in the requirement if you see that so that tags thing has gone All right so i mean customizing or adding new fields in practice is pretty easy and um, simple uh, straightforward you know like a uh, way to add um, and even adding the custom fields and customize and adding a custom field uh, and deleting them is also pretty straightforward so depending what your project demands or what what the needs or defaults are required for your project you can very easily add or delete the custom fields in practice test so that's pretty much about um, system field and custom field in practice test in next session we will learn about the workflow in practice test thank you